Okay, in this video, the focus will be on the gear menu in the top corner of a report right up there. So you can see that currently I'm looking at uh, this particular router or switch on this interface and to make it a little bit more interested and have a little bit more results, I'm just going to change it to use all interfaces and apply that. Okay, now we have more data, and what we're going to do is focus on that gear menu. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to check that off because I want to make multiple changes without keep closing this gear menu. So we're looking at inbound traffic right now, and because I'm looking at all interfaces, inbound is going to match outbound. So um, I'll just leave it like that. We're looking at rate versus total. Now what that does is over here on the right, you can see that I'm looking at the rate in bits per second, but the total's in that tooltip right there, 12.663. So if I change that to total, now you get the 12.663 and the rates in the tooltip. So that's what that does. The data source is basically where we're getting the data to build the report. So if I choose a time frame of 24 hours. Do I want to look at the data in 24 hours uh, using one minute data source or a five minute data source? Once you get into the five minute, 30 minute and higher, we start aggregating the data and dropping the um, flows with the least amount of bytes. So a lot of times when we're troubleshooting or doing any forensic work for security, we're focusing on the one minute data, which is um, nothing is dropped. So 100% uh, representative of what happened on the wire. I'm only looking at 10 rows at a time. I could go up to 1,000, and you can see I've got pagination down here on the bottom, 722 rows. And each row could have um, could represent multiple flows because I am looking at a five-minute period here. Show host names versus IP address, and it is trying to uh, translate IP addresses to DNS names right now, although they are showing only IPs. Formatted versus raw, this is kind of useful if you're exporting the data to a CSV. Um, bits or bytes, do I want to see the data column here in bits or bytes? I can change that. Do I want to show the peak column? That is going to add a column in my table down here below and show 95th, so I'll just say yes. You can see it just got added peak, 95th percentile, got added. Do I want the interface number? Because remember, I am reporting on all interfaces here. So if I just change that to um, all interfaces, now I have to rerun the report again uh, because it has to build a new temp table. So if I say yes to that, and you can see I get the interface right there. And the tooltip, when you mouse over, gives you the, uh, the uh, interface name details. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to change 95th and show peak to no. Uh, the graph type is a step. Uh, I could change it to pie if I want a pie chart. See that? Or uh, there's other options like sand key. So uh, you have several options there. Do I want to show the other traffic, the non-top 10? That's in gray. So if I come down here, I'm not seeing in the, oh yeah, there's the other traffic right there. Sometimes it, it uses up a lot of real estate. So what we can do is we can show other no, and that will get rid of it from the trend. Now you don't see any gray traffic there, and now it is back. Okay. And then the last thing here has to do with um, the time frame, and I'm currently looking at uh, the last five minutes, but I could say the last 24 hours, and then apply the dates, update. And you can see that now I'm looking at the data in 30 minute intervals using 30 minute uh, resolution data. And if I wanted to, I can come in here and change the data source to one minute take a little longer to run, but it'll actually do the same graph, but use one minute granular data. So I won't have, um, if I'm doing any forensic reporting. So if you have any questions, uh, please give us a call. Thanks.